Good morning everybody and uh, welcome back to the continuous discussion on this mock paper. Today I am going to continue with uh, question number 23. The plant and machinery account at cost of a business for the year ended 31 December 2015 was as follows. 2015 we have opening balance and then uh, 30 June there is addition or purchase and 31st March there is a disposal and then we have the closing balance. The company policy is to charge depreciation 20% per year on the straight line basis with proportionate depreciation in the year of purchase and disposal. What should be the depreciation charge for the year under 31 December 2015? Let's work out. So we will draw a line, a line timeline, we call it first. Uh, when is that? 1st January, yes. 1st January 2015 and then 31st December 2015. Opening balance on this date is uh, 240,000. And the very next transaction is uh, 31st March disposal of 60,000. Uh, disposal of 60 so that means uh, this becomes closing uh, the balance on 31st March becomes uh, 240 minus 60 which is 180 and then next transaction is on 30 June there is an uh, addition or a purchase of a new asset 160 purchase 160 so 160 plus 180 340 so 160 plus 180 becomes 340 so closing balance 340. So, this should be the scenario. Let me confirm. Yes, that is the scenario. Now, the question is to calculate depreciation. Now, to calculate depreciation, the one asset we disposed on 31st March, so from 1st January to 31st March, we were having Assets 240,000 and the depreciation policy 20% and this asset is with us for only 3 months so 3 over 12 that will give you how much 240 into 20% into 3 over 12 that is 12,000. So when we reach this date, the depreciation only for this period is 12,000. Then again, my, I have 180,000 for this period. So that one, so 1st of April to 30 June. So that means how many months? April, May, June. So 180,000 into 20% into 3 over 12. That will give you how much? 180 into 3 over 12 into 20 percent. Into 20 percent is 9000. And then, uh, on, then what happens? On this date we make an addition. So now the asset balance increases to 340. So that is from 1 July to 31st December. So total asset balance is 340 into 20% into 6 over 12. That will give you how much? 340 into 20% into 6 over 12. That is 34,000. So the total depreciation will be 
31,000 plus uh, 9,000 plus 12. Amount is 55,000. So, the answer comes 55,000. The same calculation you can do it in a slightly different way, you see. Of 240, I'm disposing 60,000. So this 180 is with me throughout 12 months. So I calculate depreciation for this 180 into 20% into 12 over 12. That gives you how much? 180 into 0.2, that is 36,000. So, so that is 36,000 and then this is 60,000, this is only for 3 months, 20% into 3 over 12, how much that gives you, 60 into 20% into 3 over 12, that is 3,000, plus uh, the addition, addition how much? 160,000. That 160,000 is with us only for 6 months. 20% into 6 over 12. So how much is that? 160 into 20% into 6 over 12. That is 16,000. Now let's take the total of these three. 36 plus 3 plus 16. Yet again, you get 55,000. Either this way or that way, you can answer this question. So the answer to this question will be 55,000, answer number 4. Next one. The following extracts from, following extracts uh, from uh, Hassan's financial statements. Profit before interest and tax 10,200, interest 1,600, tax 3,300. And the share capital 20, reserves 15,600, loan liability 6,900. What is Hassan's return on capital employed? When we talk about return on capital employed, that is ROCE, ROCE, equation is profit before interest and tax divided by capital employed into 100. The capital employed actually equity plus uh, non-current liability. Now let's work out and find out. So the profit before interest and tax is uh, 10,200. That is pretty much straightforward available 10,200 and then uh, the capital employed. In other words equity plus non-current liability given in the question um, 35,600 plus 6,900 35,600 that is equity plus 6,900 that is loan liability in other words non-current liability the total is 42,500 therefore your ROCE will be 10,200 divided by 42,500 into 100. That gives you 200 divided by 42,500 into 100. 24%. So that is your answer. 24%. So next question. Identify by selecting the relevant boxes in the table below whether each of the following statements about sales tax is true or false. Remember, sales tax is an indirect tax. Sales tax is an indirect tax. The, here, 
this will be an expense to the ultimate consumer this will be an expense to the ultimate consumer so therefore if you read the question now sales tax is an expense to the ultimate consumer of the goods purchased pretty much answer true then the second statement sales tax is recorded as an income in the accounts of the entity selling the goods no it is very it's not correct it's false because uh, whoever registered for sales tax whatever the amount they are collecting on behalf of the authority they cannot recognize that as an income that should be either a receivable or a payable therefore statement number two is false so answer to question number 25 statement number one true statement number two two is false thank you so much and i will continue discussing the similar uh, continuation with the next question question number 26 in my next recording keep tuning on my youtube channel for get get benefits of this uh, discussion on uh, financial accounting and uh, other related subjects thank you so much